morning YouTube it's Sam from Sam's Garden Maintenance and in this video today guys I want to talk to you about price rises now it's gonna be a big discussion about this from me I'm only gonna be telling you about uh, you know what I've done with my business and how I've gone around it I can't really speak for your business but I think quite a few people are in the same sort of thought process and the same sort of boat as me so as I said take what you can from this video now I thought long and hard about whether to put my prices up this year we've got the cost of living the cosy livy we've got that going on we've got the fact that everybody's so pinched for money and it's always in the newspaper you know you've got always people like Martin Lewis telling you how to save money all this it's always on people's sort of you know forefront of the mind and I thought, well, with that in mind, you know, what will they want to pay? Will it harm me? Will they cancel? You know, all these sort of thoughts and feelings going through my head. And I thought, right, let's just take it back a few pegs, Sam. So I looked at my paperwork. I looked how much I earned last year. And I thought, you know what? If I can carry over the same amount of customers I did last year to this year, I'll be fine automatically. Now I thought, well, what happens if I lose a couple? Well, I was working six, seven days last week, last year. And honestly, I thought to myself, well, if I lose a couple, because I piss them off and they go somewhere else to get somewhere cheaper, then one, I sort of know that they aren't the best customer for me anyway. And that's what I want to be hitting. My goal is to get the best possible customers for me. And if somebody is going to ditch me over the price of a cheap cup of coffee or half a meal deal, then that's their lookout, isn't it? So it's sort of ticking the boxes already. And I thought, right, if they lose me over that, then that is their sort of lookout. And then what would that mean for me? I'll get more free time, you know? Or I'll get more free time to fill with the exterior cleaning side. So as I said, I'm not putting prices up to lose customers or piss people off. And I'm not putting my prices up by a piss taking amount to do that same thing because some people might say well ramp them up and then you know what you're keeping you're keeping the brilliant the best of the best and then you can sort of fill it not at all really i'm looking at putting my prices up by about 10 to 20 percent this year so for some people that's going to be half a meal deal cup of coffee you know what i mean full meal deal or a shit bottle of wine it is it's not much when you think about, you know, overall. Now, with all that sort of background knowledge going on, I made the decision, I'm going to do it. You know, this is the year, I'm going to have to do it. If you look at other business owners, big businesses where they've got staff, much bigger kit than I have, much bigger customers, they themselves will put their customers' price up yearly. It's part and part of business at the end of the day. There's plenty of other trades that do it. So, you know why shouldn't we now i'm guilty because i put i've never put customers prices up for some of my customers so it's going to be a big shock to them so i thought right how is the best way to approach this well cutting all the options out i thought maybe a covering letter i can slip into the, the card explaining why all this we've all seen these posts up where people will put you know your sport local you're hoping to you know keep me in business and i keep the tool place you know all that sort of jazz and it like one sort of grows to help the other i thought no and i don't want to send a text or a whatsapp i don't want to do it over the phone i thought right last visit every single customer i'll tell them i will and then they know going into the new year that their price has gone up opposed to going back on the new year and telling them and also, it would be a good way for me to sort of, you know, basically work out what work I've got potentially next year. So, that's what I did. Every single customer whose their price was going up, I told them. I says, as from next year, just letting you know, I'm going to have to put the prices up. And I kept it at that. I kept it very brief. Now, my advice to you is keep it as brief as you possibly can. Because... I find where people were asking, if they were asking why, 
they're automatically pissed off. They took it the wrong way, you know, and in a way, they probably aren't the customer for you because you're not putting it up a ridiculous amount. You're putting it up £2.50 for some people. It's nothing, literally nothing. And I can understand some that might break the bank, but it really isn't. And if they're, if they're wanting to sort of get into it on why, exactly why you're doing this, why you're doing it to me, then they've took it the wrong way, guaranteed. Now, I had one person like that, and I'll tell you a bit about that later. Now, I told everybody face-to-face -face on the last visit, and I also told everybody again when I went and dropped the Christmas cards off. So they've been told twice, direct, face-to-face. -face. I did this for couple of reasons but the biggest one is I wanted there to be no surprises because some people it might slip their mind they might say oh I never heard you you know whatever but if I've told them twice they know so when I start back and I give them the new price or you know write out the invoice whatever I want to do they're on the same page as me we are it's nice and crystal clear now I'm not back fully for the majority of people, but for the people I've been back, I've had no problems yet. Now, what sort of reaction did I get when I told them? Because obviously nobody likes their prices going up. I don't, you know, it annoys me when you go in Tesco and food's going up all the time and everything's going up, but it's part of life now. It is what it is. So that's how I see it. So what was the reaction? I'll be honest with you overwhelmingly it was actually okay it was a mix the majority of people were like yeah no problem sam it's what you gotta do yeah 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 no problem mate you know you gotta keep your business going i'd say the the worst the reaction was mm, okay you know that was it now i had one which i'll tell you about but i'll leave her till the end so across the board the majority of people were actually really fine in a way they were actually supportive of it they were so that was happy now will i probably put the price up every year i don't know probably not probably once every two years just to sort of you know keep everybody happy but this extra 10 20 percent it's going to mean that i can do more for the business put more money away and in a way it directly sort of helps them because if I'm able to sort of put money away, I can then put money back into the kit so I can get bigger and better kit. So, you know, their property will look a little bit nicer. It'll be done more, more efficiently. It's stuff like this that people don't realise. It's not like you're taking the money and putting nothing in the business, putting the price up and then you're turning up with that still, that same old mower that takes ages and scorches the lawn and, you know, that noisy petrol trimmer, you know. It's, I like to think that what I put into the business, it benefits not only me, but the customer in a way. You know, they can chill out at home and I'm using all cordless gear. I'm not bothering them. You know, stuff like that. Uh, that should be what should be on the forefront of people. And I think actually the majority of my customers, they get that. They do. So that's the sort of the end goal for where the money's going. It's to help me, the business. And in a trickle down effect, it actually helps them as well. Now, I've only had one customer. Out of all the customers I've told, I've had one. And I'll be honest with you, I think she took it personally. She is. And I'll just do a little bit of background with this lady. She's an hourly. Some people will disagree with that sort of pricing strategy. But I think at the end of the day, all these different pricing ways we have, it's all another tool in my box. Now... Her house, it's quite a nice house in a beautiful village. It's a big house. And uh, I'm there an hour a week. Sometimes blue moon, I could be there an hour and a half. Blue, blue moon, you know, very rarely. I'm there a couple of hours. But for the majority of the time, I'm there one hour a week. I want to get all these facts so you can sort of understand. I'm there an hour a week, charge of £15 an hour. I do. I've charged her this price, £15 an hour since I started my business and she was one of my first customers. Never put the price up. That's my fault. It is. Uh, she lives about 15 minutes away from me on a really shit day if I'm stuck behind bin men and tractors. It could be 20 minutes. But for the most part, it's about a 15 minute drive. So 
adding that up, adding the time I'm there, the talking afterwards, uh, you know, the, and she's a bugger for, oh, I, I forgot, can you just do this little job, stuff like that, where, you know, adding it all up, I'm there sometimes just under two hours, and I've got to drive back to where I live, where all the rest of my work is. So I could have two hours in Cheadle where I can earn a lot more than just two hours driving to service her garden at £15. Pounds. I'd, you know, dividing that by two hours, I'm on about £7.50. I'm, that's not even minimum wage. Now, thinking about all this, I was hoping she'd understand it. I did. And another sort of caveat is, just so it sets the scene for you guys and probably makes me look a little bit shitty, is she had, when I was ill, she got another gardener in. She actually got two gardeners in who gave her two prices. She didn't accept him. One gardener wanted £300 to tidy the whole garden up. And another person wanted £150 to do all the shrubs. Now, for me, that's a couple of hours' work or an hour's work. So either they are drastically rinsing this lady. I've got no reason for her to sort of overinflate them prices because it actually only makes me look good. Uh, or that is the price and actually I'm doing myself out of money now I was thinking about this the other day if I was to approach that and price that up I would actually price that up at £40 a visit now to get that place tidy and in reality I'm getting £15 so she was the one I wanted to put the price up the most now bearing in mind 5 years of loyalty 5 years of never taking a piss, not stealing from her, doing the best I possibly can. You know, you'd think that would gather some sort of loyalty, shall I say. Well, I told her that the price was going up directly after a conversation she had about her window cleaner who said that he also puts his prices up every year. So she's used to this, and she's used to paying more for stuff. Now for me, I told her straight after this convo, so that was fresh in her mind, I says, I'm just gonna let you know, as from start of next year I'm going to have to put my price up oh no no I no, I can't no I, I think £15 is more than enough for an hour I can't pay any more I said well I understand that £15 was good when I first started but it's actually getting now where it's holding me back as a business I'm up here you know sometimes could be up here nearly two hours and when I divide that down um uh, she just didn't she didn't understand right it didn't it just didn't sink in with it now i never actually told her what her price was going up she never even asked she just sort of reacted to it said no and then she said about the 15 pounds more than enough and then she said about well i'm gonna to have to look for another garden that was how the conversation ended so don't let sentimentality trick you that's five years I've gave this woman of never fucking messing around, never taking a piss, stealing, nothing. That's five years of turning up on time, doing the best job I can. Her garden is a mix of shrubs, hedges, border work. So, you know, it's not just you tickling over a lawn and going, because you haven't got a lawn. So that's five years, that is. That's what five years gets you with some people. So we left it at that. And I have visited her since, before Christmas, done a couple of visits. She's never mentioned it, I never mentioned it, but I'm not letting it drop. So I told her, when I dropped the card off, I'm going to have to put the price up again. Same sort of reaction, oh well my pension doesn't go up there by that much, all this. I told her that it's going to move from £15 to £20, so it's an extra fiver. I know, that's a third increase, it's a lot, but it's still not enough to actually cover my costs in a way. Like, you know, two hours divided by 20. It's not even minimum wage for somebody. So, as you can tell, but it's the best, you know, best sort of compromise I can do. Because I know if I were to put it up to a visit price, she wouldn't have had it. And I think, actually, in a way, I probably would have been better doing that. Because I think the outcome's going to be the same. So, that was the price. Uh, I told her, she'd ummed an odd, and she says, well, I just won't have to have you as much. Now, I think she's took this personally. I think she's, you know, took it the wrong way. Anybody else would have gone, you know what? I'd... Like, you know, he's, he's done five years. He's never put his price up. Pound a year, maybe. 
who knows so i normally go to her once a week over christmas you know winter time it's now february i've not been to her since before christmas so you know i think she is sort of cutting back so on paper you could say well actually sam you've lost money yes it does work like this sometimes what do i think is going to happen when it goes back two things she'll either be fine with it she'll pay not a problem nothing will be mentioned because she actually must be able to understand she gets good value from me but what i think's happened is i think this is going to be a sticking point i think you know she's always she's never going to let this sort of end you know it's always going to be sort of basically a sticking point for her and i do think we're going to part ways over it i'll be honest with you because i think she's going to expect everything to be done in an hour and it isn't because i've not been there for a month at least so we'll have to see and uh you know i might even get a text saying don't bother coming i found somebody else you know which is a sort of prerogative but that'll sort of answer all my questions and feelings so like i said the overall majority as it's gone well it's worked it's successful it has i don't think you should ever base what you do for your business on just one person so i'm not the fact that this lady's gone like this she's told you guys because i can imagine you thought thinking the same this isn't the customer for me I can't imagine this is the customer for you. Would you want somebody who thinks of you just as the cheapest? No. So, like I said, it's taught me a lot. And I do think we're going to part ways on this, potentially. But I'll keep you updated. So that's it, guys. That's my price rise story. Hopefully you've sort of gleaned a bit about it. Bit of a personal note. Been going slimming world now since Christmas. I'm a stone and a half down. So hopefully, you know, if I keep going, she'll be a little bit thinner by the end of the year. So we'll have to see. But that's a whole other story. But don't be afraid about putting your prices up, guys. You've got to look after you. Some people might see it. This is what you might think in your head. That some people might think you're just cashing in. But I honestly think it's taught me, my set of customers, you know, that they're actually they're fine with it. It's just one customer. Just one so you know how it is at the moment i'm probably going to lose 15 pounds is it going to send me into poverty i don't think so have a good day guys usual keep on gardening or guttering